Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives Today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Lonnie confronts Whitley, Brady makes a desperate move, and more. Brady is poised to ruin everything because he is anxious to get Kristen out of his and Rachel's lives. Rachel is already being prepared by Kristen for significant mental health problems. Brady acting insanely won't solve the problem. However, according to Days of Our Lives spoilers, Rachel will enter the scene while Brady is holding Kristen at gunpoint in an attempt to win back his daughter during the week of July 17 to 23. Brady's actions, however foolish they may be, are comprehensible. Marlena and Belle have given him terrible advice, telling him he would lose custody to Kristen and her non-existent lawyer since he let her disappear by sending her to a sleepaway camp she fled from. He feels cornered since he believes them, and Salem's legal system is different. He wants Kristen to stop using Rachel as a pawn, but he can see no legal means to do so. It makes sense why he pulls a pistol on her. But this can't go well, can it? Not to add that Brady might go to jail if Kristen reports the crime to Jada, it will simply give Kristen reason to ask for full custody. And even that doesn't begin to describe the harm Rachel's presence in this situation will do. The most infuriating aspect of this is that if someone had bothered to parent Rachel properly, it couldn't have all been avoided. Brady will occasionally give her a half-hearted command to go to her room and then reassure her that he isn't upset. When Rachel misbehaves, she needs to feel the resentment and disappointment of adults. She also needs to know the real story behind Kristen and the reasons why she and Brady can never live together again. There are ways to handle this that are sympathetic, encouraging, and set clear boundaries at the same time, but no one is doing that, which has given Kristen with plenty of room to influence her. Now that both of her parents have used violence against one another, Kristen can utilize this most recent transgression to increase her control over Rachel. Ah. Oh. For more information on this and six additional days of our live spoilers for the week of July 17 to 23, please scroll down. When Lani fails to show, Rafe and Paulina worry. One of Lani's worst choices to date was to save Ed by herself without calling Jada or requesting assistance. Most likely, Ed has forgotten who Lani is. He's also under a lot of sedation and has a body and soul dream. There is no way Lainey is going to accomplish this before Whitley gets home and kidnaps her as well. That's terrible news for Lani because she has to report back to prison soon. Albeit she is wearing an ankle monitor so maybe she will be swiftly located. Jerry's apartment is broken into by Steve and John. Here, Steve and John are kind of chasing their tails. Jerry did assist Whitley with her crazy scheme, but he is not the one who abducted Abe. Whitley's blatant lies shouldn't have been taken seriously by Steve. Additionally, he ought to have called the police and let them handle Jerry. But hopefully this oversight will provide him at least a hint as to where A.B. is actually hiding. The custody arrangement is destroyed by Brady. After signing the contract and getting Rachel back, Brady ought to have torn it up. The satisfaction from that would have been far greater. But he couldn't hold off, so he gave in right away. Because Rachel is still absent, Kristen now has the upper hand. It makes sense why Brady would opt to shoot her. Jada and Belle become friends amid the hunt for Rachel. Given that Jada is Eric's ex-girlfriend and Belle is his half-sister, this could be intriguing. Hopefully they'll talk about something other than whether Eric made a mistake by leaving Jada. Even yet, it's been a while since these two characters have interacted and it's always entertaining when strangers wind up working together. After Kristen reports Brady's threat, he is in danger. Naturally, Kristen will make it seem like she was the innocent victim. Brady's actions were aggressive and illegal, but they weren't entirely unprovoked. But he ought to suffer some repercussions for what he did. But Kristen, who took her daughter hostage, ought to as well. What about Rachel? who is unlikely to be asked by the police why she fled and who instructed her to hide in the mansion? 
Maggie overhears Justin and Bonnie discussing keeping Sarah's identity a secret. The announcement of Sarah's pregnancy should be made by her, not by Bonnie and Justin. However, as they were forced to adhere to the tiresome cliché of discussing it in Maggie's home, they will be forced to tell her when she walks in on them. Will Sarah return to Salem after the word has spread? Moving Xander back to Sarah and away from Chloe might not be a bad idea now that Philip is on his way home. Sloane and Eric move significantly. Eric and Sloane's decision to try for a child represents a significant first step. It's not a big deal to check the results of their pregnancy test. Spoilers state the test will turn out to be positive. Sloane is now the third pregnant woman in Salem as a result. Most likely, one of these infants will be lost, or all of these infants, while being conceived at various times, will miraculously trade places at birth. What will happen if Eric finds out that Sloane used her own DNA rather than his for the paternity test, or that Nicole gave birth to Eric's child? Marlena divulges some information concerning Whitley. Whitley was formerly Marlena's patient, which she will disclose to Kayla. Undoubtedly, Kayla is disappointed that she is unable to disclose more due to doctor-patient confidentiality. But if she admits that she's Whitley's doctor, there will be a lot of pressure on her to say more because she could know why Whitley stole Abe and what she should do next. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.